Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another piano tutorial and today we're going to be taking a look at chord inversions. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at what they are, exactly how to use them, and when to use them. So let's dive right in. Alright guys, so let's look at chord inversions. So I'm going to play just a basic C chord. You can see 1, 3, 5, C, E, G. It's just your very basic C chord. Um, a lot of you probably already know that. Um, it's the simplest form of a chord. You got your C chord, you got your G chord, G, B, D. So these are what we call root position. Basically what root position means is that the first note in the chord is the same letter or basically the same you know letter as the chord. So see the C chord starts with C, G chord starts with G. So it's like your thumb just jumps automatically to that. Now what inversions are is it's simply rearranging the different notes of the chord. So a first inversion of a C chord is E, G, C. It's the same exact notes except you're moving this note up here. Instead of playing the C at the bottom, you're playing the C at the top. So it's still a C chord, it's just a first inversion of a C chord. You can do the same with a G chord. So this is a root position G chord. If you move the G and play this G instead to move it to the top of the chord, that's still a G chord, it's just a first inversion G chord, okay? So you got your root position C, root position G, first inversion uh, C, first inversion G. So first inversion, then you got second inversion, which is up here. Let me make sure that you guys can see this. Yeah, it was so good. Um, so same, same notes, C, E, G. It's just putting uh, the G on the bottom and the C and the E on the top of the chord. So basically for the C chord, you got root position, first inversion, second inversion. Now don't be confused, don't call it first, third, second, third. It's root, first, second. Now for the G chord, there's your root, there's first inversion, there's second inversion. So you may be asking, what's the point of, of inversions? You know, why not just play the root position of the chords, right? Because that may just seem to be the easiest thing to do. But what the point of inversions are is basically to save your hand from jumping all over the place. And, um, you know, when you do that, there's more room for error, there's more mistakes. So I'll show you a very easy way. Um, to use inversions within a song. Let's do the classic um, How Great Is Our God in G. So um, basically if you're playing this in root position you'd go How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God That's E minor Oh we'll see how great C chord How great D chord is our God. Now, if using inversions, um, I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll go, how great. Actually, I'll start with first inversion G chord. Um, and I do that just because the melody, how great, is on the top here. So, how great. First inversion is our God. Now watch this. Sing with me how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. See how very little I am actually moved my right hand? All I did was I did a G chord, E minor chord, C chord, that's in root position, D chord is in root position, G chord. So, how to find these chords? You just go, take your root position G chord, and then you move the bottom note to the top. Just find the top, the next octave of that note, and play it. And you do the same for a second inversion. You move that B to the top there. So you go root, first, 
second. So I was playing first inversion, G chord. How great is our God, sing with me how great. This is actually second inversion for E minor. So find your E minor chord, move the bottom note to the top. It's first inversion, bottom note to the top, second inversion. So I'm going, how great is our God, sing with me how great. See, I just moved one note, that's all I did. Is our God, all will see how great. See what I did? I just moved one single note. I moved from here to here. How great is our God. Back to first inversion. Okay, so you can see That's not much moving around compared to how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, all oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. And it just makes it a lot more convenient, it makes it a lot simpler. Um, inversions are probably the number one thing if you're a uh, basic um, piano player, maybe you just started, this is going to take you to the next level. Is our God, sing with me, how great. Is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. See, inversions will take you to the next level. And they're really, really awesome, and they're really easy to do, too. It's a lot of fun. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you like this video. And we'll see you next time.